everyone welcome back to another speed build so today I just decided to do kind of a quick and easy apartment renovation I did the Stone Street apartments number four um, yeah this is my first speed build since I've moved into my new house so I kind of just wanted to keep it quick and easy um, that also explains the break I was on for about a week but I like renovating these smaller apartments because I feel like they're more realistic because I don't know, I've personally never lived in a penthouse apartment, so this is more the size I'm used to. Actually, this is probably still too big than the apartments I lived in. Um, but yeah, it took me a couple tries to figure out, like, the tile to go in this bathroom, because I kind of wanted to keep that burnt orange look, but all the floor tiles kind of didn't match too great. So I just ended up going with the plain beige. I think it was actually the linoleum I went with, not the tile. Um, and the color scheme for this apartment is kind of, I don't, I don't know, like each room has its own color because the burnt orange is in the bathroom and then in the bedroom I end up going with this uh, like dusty rose red color and then the main room ends up being a blue and yellow so I don't, I don't know. I was tired when I did this. <laughs> but yeah, how are you all doing today? I am kind of stuffed up. I don't know if you'll be able to hear it in my voice, but I moved from a very hot and humid area to a very dry and cool area, so my body is not happy with me at the moment, so my upload schedule may be a little wacky for a little bit as I get over whatever is happening. Um, but yeah, hopefully I get over it quickly. And when I put in these lights, I actually went into live mode and adjusted the color and intensity of them because I wanted the sort of warmer feel in this room. And the curtains here, the one on the, well, the one not behind the bed didn't snap to the window. I don't know if it's because of the wall that's there, but it actually worked out better because I got to move it where I wanted it because in the apartment you can't move the window so you just have to deal with wherever the curtain snaps to. So I liked that I could freely move that one. I didn't clutter too much in this build. I tried to keep it pretty simple. Um, I feel like in apartments you just, yeah, you end up doing simple decorations anyhow. Um, I went with a couple table clutter items, a couple pictures, but not too much. And I didn't really have anything in mind for the person that lived here. Uh, the sim I was using in live mode is just one that I have in the paranormal career, so I didn't really use her as a base. I just kind of made a cute apartment. I have some musical instruments that I add towards the end of the build, but that could just be a hobby for them, not really a career. Um, it's probably a feminine sim just because I did add uh, a lot of floral items because, you know, no sim build is complete without house plants, right? But also the color scheme. Um, I went with colors that I normally would not go with, like, I hate everything in the red, orange, yellow family. That is just not my jam. Uh, and I never used that floor laundry basket, but I thought it was a cute little fit here, so I added that in. In this apartment as well, I did keep it uh, pack limited. It is base game, eco lifestyle, and tiny living, I figured, of course, because this apartment came with the eco lifestyle pack you would obviously have that but tiny living is also like if you have one I feel like you probably have the other because they just work so well together so it's just the base game and those two packs so hopefully more accessible for more people um, I think I'm gonna try doing that more like I'll go into the specific world and just build either with the pack that that world came in or maybe add like one or two more but I do know that a lot of my builds I don't limit myself, so they're not as accessible to everyone, and the packs are expensive. So yeah, I might do some more limited builds. And also it makes it so that I use different items that I wouldn't already use or that I don't normally use. I like how this kitchen turned out though, the like light blue and white, I thought it just, it brightens up the place, it makes it look a little bit brighter, or a little bit bigger rather. And I kept the same style ceiling lights throughout the whole apartment. Those three hanging light clusters. I really like those. And I really like all the swatches that come with them. This chalkboard, I wanted it to rest on the counter. But because the counters have that back lip, it clipped. So I had to put it higher up hanging instead of... Because I wanted it to have like a just 
resting on the counter look, but now it has to be hanging on the wall, which is fine. Um, and yeah, just some really simple clutter. It's kind of a big kitchen for an apartment, but I still wanted to keep it kind of kind of minimal. Um, yeah, didn't go too overboard. And this coffee cup rack, usually I place it just fine with a coffee maker on the counter. I don't know why I struggled so hard with this one. <laughs> it kept hanging off the edge, but in the end I got there. It just took me an extra minute. And I like using the end cabinets that are different, even though they don't exactly line up on the end. I think it gives the kitchen more variety instead of just that uniform look all across. So I liked playing with that a little bit. I think I'm going to try doing that more, especially since they keep releasing new, new packs and everything. The upper cabinets they're adding more variety to, so I like that, and I like how you can mix and match them a little bit. Just a couple paintings here. I was struggling picking those because originally I wanted them all to have a white frame, but then I decided that I wanted the color of the picture to match rather than the wood. So that's why I have some brown wood and some white going on. And these are the eco lifestyle pieces of furniture that you can actually craft in game. But if you go into the debug catalog, you can use them in build mode. And I think they just fit really well in this apartment. Like maybe your sin did craft them or maybe they got them, you know, really cheap from a local shop or something like that. So I just thought it looked really good. And I kept the floral print on them because like I said, I did add a lot of plants in this house. So maybe this person just really likes flowers. And I just did that wall art twice. And I think the eight frames above the desk looks really good. I just kept the same swatches. I don't know, I think it looked okay kind of use some mixed matched mismatched god why can't I say that right ever some mismatched furniture in the seating area um I used that fabricated furniture again and then I switched that coffee table there to be the tiny living set the love seat tv stand all that is from tiny living and I wasn't sure what swatches I wanted to do for these curtains but I ended up going with the yellow because I think it really tied in the whole place and adds that pop of color so it's not all just blue um, even though it's different shades of blue, I still think adding the yellow in just adds that pop a little bit. Um, did some more simple artwork. I didn't really want to go too overboard, and also with the pack limitations, there's really not much to choose from unless you add, like, the astronomically expensive pieces of wall art, which I did not want to do. I just went in with some more of those debug items on top of the TV stand as well. Um, I think... It just adds some like unique touches in the build so you're not always using the same items or like just only house plants <laughs> and then in this area i really didn't know what to add but i ended up going with just a really simple dining area um took me a minute to find the table that i wanted to use but i think in the end it looks good uh very simple very plain but you know it works and some of that wall art i just sized down a couple of them i think it adds a nice touch goes with the sort of like natural feel of the build. Again, I use the same ceiling lights throughout the whole place. And this is where I go in and add some musical instruments because there was just like this big open wall. I didn't know what to do. I didn't want to add an easel because I feel like I always put an easel in all my builds. So I went with the music, uh, the music route instead of the art route this time. Just some more clutter items, clutter items on this bookshelf. Um, there are a lot of books in this build, I'm noticing. But that's also a good filler and a good alternative to just more plants. Uh, this is the montage and the walkthrough. At the end, you will see what walls I had to delete in order to download it from the gallery because you can't just download apartments. You have to do it as a room. So I just go and delete the door area. If you want to download this, you just have to add those two sections of wall back in. But thank you all for watching and subscribe, like, comment, all that fun stuff, and I will see you next time. Bye!